Hello. There is a system for three phase monitoring. Three phase monitoring of voltage, current and temperature plus another arrangement. Uh, we have sensing arrangements for temperature, voltage 1, voltage 2, voltage 3, current 1, current 2, current 3. It could be R, Y, B voltage and current could be again three different phases. This is applicable for maybe the transformer or a or an induction motor or a generator where several parameters can be picked up through this simple arrangements of PT and CT which is indicated here and plus some other arrangement to sense the voltage. And normally since the ADC voltage requirement is in terms of millivolts, so what arrangement we have done here is we have taken a potential divider of 22 k is to 500 ohms. So we get roughly a millivolt arrangement here as far as the input to the ADC is concerned. Uh, we have uh, the ADC, it's an 8 channel ADC 0808, which is multiplexed by these three inputs to the ADC. More details are available as far as the ADC is concerned in separate videos. And we have uh, this particular arrangement where we have uh, the PT and CT arrangement exactly like this. We have uh, three transformers per potential, uh, recording the potential voltage and three CTs for the current. Then for the temperature, uh, we have taken standard LM35 with an analog temperature sensor, which is again fed to the ADC. Then we have uh, the most important that we know that is the reference voltage to the ADC. The reference voltage to the ADC here is given uh, through a potential divider. Once we operate this, we will see how it, it has an effect on the parameters. Like for example, for calibration purposes. Now once we operate this, what we find that I get the same exact reading of, I get the exact reading of say 35 degrees as far as the uh, temperature is concerned and uh, the voltage, current, all these things that is as per the requirement, we get as per the requirement. Uh, you see temperature is 35. Now supposing we increase or decrease the temperature on the arrangement here on the software, we find that the temperature also recorded here in the display unit is as per the temperature sensed. What we find is a 37 now, we find it's coming in 37. Similarly for the voltage, it's about 240 over voltage now as for the V1 is concerned. Now supposing I reduce this voltage, I reduce this voltage to a lesser value, what we find that will get the better reading or the lower value reading and the over voltage reading will not be there. And what we find is that now over temperature, which is because we have increased the temperature, now in normal voltage, it has become normal voltage. Now if I reduce this, this will again, because we have set a temperature of more than 35, in the process it has shown the over temperature. The similar thing happened for the current and for the other arrangements. The uh, other important parameter that perhaps what we wanted to analyze is to see how the reference voltage affects the reading. Now, for example, if we have the reading here, okay, we have a reading here, about 2.55 reference voltage here. In the process, we get the exact reading as far as the temperature sensor is concerned. Now, for example, if I change this, and now uh, let's see this, we have the reference voltage is given 2.55, it should be actually 2.56 or so and supposing I reduce the reference voltage, now it's, I say 2.46 and in the process what we find the temperature reading will no more be accurate, the temperature reading will be different and the temperature reading here what we find is now 36 instead of 34, it is showing 36. That is how the calibration can be done by properly adjusting the reference voltage to the ADC. This is what is the arrangement and uh, the whole thing can be connected to a, a level shifter IC max 232 and max that 232 can be again interfaced to a GSM modem where the periodically the information can be conveyed to the central room uh, for this health of the transformer or the motor or the generator. Thank you.